Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, AFC Wimbledon have signed two players as of yet. Don't know who the second one is yet, but for the first half of this video, we are going to be reacting to um, AFC Wimbledon's 11th summer signing, Charlie Lackin, on loan midfielder from Burton Albion. Um, we're going to go through his attributes, how I think he could fit into our squad, and then in the second half of the, of the video, when I know who we've signed at 5 o'clock, we will go through that, but... Uh, we're on the road to a thousand subscribers at the moment. If anyone could like the video um, and subscribe to the channel, if you're new, that would be really appreciated. But let's get into these reaction videos. So the first half of the video, we will be talking about Charlie Lackin. Um, first reactions to him, he might he's he's on loan until January, not the full season. This could be just due to the fact that um, Jake Creaves, Armani Little is out for injury. That they, they will be back soon, but just to cover for the next couple of games, and who knows, he could take he could take the places. But we have got good midfielders at the moment. Morgan Williams, Harry Pell can still do the job in the field, but this is good. It's a very good signing to get on the final day. Um, because last season we went into January, had so many players out of injury, and then we didn't really sign the best replacement, so it really didn't go well. But Charlie Lackin, um, He's a good midfielder. Burton fan said he didn't really get the opportunity, but when he did, he was quite good, but he just didn't fall into the Burton squad. So maybe dropping down a league into League Two, he could show um, his ability at Wimbledon, hopefully. He seems like a decent player on the ball. Um, in his interview, he said he does creating chances. He's got a good pass on him, which is good to see. That, that's what you want as a midfielder. He's calm on the ball, is which is what you want as well. Um, he's been around, so he started off his, his career... Um, his youth career at Warsaw and then went on to Birmingham for nine years, uh, made his debut for Birmingham, making 10 appearances, then went to Stevenage on loan for 20 games and then Ross County on loan for 19. And that's that's interesting. Will Nightingale's gone there gone there as well. Um, scored a couple of goals, five um, between Stevenage and Ross County on loan, then went to Burton Albion on a free contract. 29 games played, didn't really get the opportunity. He signed in 2021, so he hasn't played a lot of games, but hopefully, as I said before, dropping down into League Two, he can hopefully get a good opportunity for Wimbledon. Who knows, he might even start or hunt. He, he'll, he'll definitely feature tomorrow against Newport. Um, but yeah, decent signing. Then he went to Doncaster Rovers on loan um, last season, I believe it was. Only made 10 appearances, so that's an interesting one as well. But it's it's another it's another good signing to bolster the midfield options. Now we've got Morgan Williams, Petal, um, Charlie Lackin, um, and a couple more players as well. Armani Little and Jake Cruz will be back um, from injury soon, hopefully in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm not really sure how long they're out for. I think Armani Little is a little bit less of an injury. Um, so maybe he could feature against, hopefully, Stockport County next week. Ali Ohamidi isn't playing that week as well, as he's called up. He misses Stevenage at home in the um, Papa John's Trophy as well. So that would be a big miss. But as I said in this, in this video before, it's a good midfield option. Um, He's had a lot of experience in and around League Two, League One clubs. Um, so yeah, very good signing. But now let's move on to talking about the second summer signing in a couple of minutes time when I know. But I will be back to talking about that video when we know. So now for the second half of the video, it's past five o'clock now. We have signed Connor Evans um, on loan from Stockport County. Um for the rest of the season as well, which is really, really, really good to see. Um, another midfielder, so we've signed two midfielders today, which is good to see. Charlie Lackin and Connor Evans um, used to play with Tor. He used to play for Torquay United, which is good with Armani Little, um, and the same with Stockport County. So he knows Joe Lewis, Ryan Johnson, etc. So it's going to be another good player that's going to easily gel into the squad as they've played with a lot of players before. Um, and that helps massively going into these into these crucial first couple games in September. Um, but it's another very good signing. He's tall. Uh, he's got a, he's another midfielder. Um, and that just 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 due to the fact that we've had a lot of injuries, Jake Creaves, Armani Little are now out. It's another good couple of options in the midfield options. So we don't. Um, have another massive injury span of getting loads of injuries around just after the transfer window ends. So we have got a lot of options going into tomorrow against Newport, Stevenage in the Papa John's and then Stockport and Crewe um, in the first couple of league games in September. So it's good to see. But more about Connor Evans. Um, he's 26 years of age, born in Swansea. Um, he started off his youth career at 
Lanelli. Don't know where that is, but then he went off to Bristol City and then to Bath City on loan for a couple of years. And then um, from 2018 to 2022, he was on loan at Torquay United, then signed on for a year. And then he moved to Stockport County, got his EFL move just when Stockport County got promoted, playing 23 times and scoring three goals. Then he went to Notts County on loan, having five appearances. Um, he's also been in, the, he's also had a little bit of international career playing for the Welsh under 16, 17, 18s and under 21s, which is good to see. Um, we've had a couple of Welsh players. Morgan Williams has played for um, one of the Wales under 18s, I believe it was maybe under 21s. Chris Gunter, obviously, last season. That's good to see. He's very experienced um, around the leagues, National League, EFL, playing for Stockport and Notts County, which is really good to see as well. But it's another midfielder. It's another midfielder which is going to boost our, our midfielder options just so we don't get more injuries. And if we even do get an injury to one or two of these players, we still do have more options. Um, yeah, another great signing for the Dons. Another great two signings for the Dons. That brings our transfer signings up to 12 for the whole summer. Um, I thought we would get to around 12, 13 maybe. Not sure if there's going to be any more to come in. Haven't really heard a lot of rumours going around um, other than these two players. But that is the end of the video of my reaction to um, the two transfer deadline signings as of yet there might there might be another one who knows maybe an attacker a winger would be good to see maybe a striker as well um but that is the end of the video of my reaction to charlie lackin and connor evans signing on both on loan charlie lackin until january and connor evans until the end of the season um both very good players hopefully they might feature against newport tomorrow but there will maybe be another video if we do sign um any other players but if not See you at Newport tomorrow. Thank you for watching.